Hello and welcome back to the Downseller Studio YouTube channel. My name is Jen and I'm your host and you are here today for another Woolen Women Fibers unboxing video. For one full year, the generous ladies at Woolen Women Fibers are sending me their Let the Mystery Unravel 2023 kit that has mini skeins that you make into a blanket, and then there's clues that you reveal each time you make a square on your blanket, whether it's knitted or crocheted, and at the end of the year, you have a beautiful blanket, and you've got the fun of celebrating or discovering, hopefully, that you've figured out the mystery at the end of every month. So I've got my box here, and I'm excited to see what we've got for November, and then I will show you what my squares look like for September and October, which were the first two months. All right, everything else is packaged nice and neatly there. We've got our beautiful wax sealed stamp here. Okay, and we also have our scratch off card. So each time you scratch one off, each time you finish a square, you scratch one of these off to reveal a little clue. Looks like the theme for this month is Tomb of the Lost Queen. Let's see what our postcard tells us about this month. All right, Tomb of the Lost Queen, November 22nd through December 22nd. Dear Bess and George, 60 years ago, a violent sandstorm uncovered an ancient tomb in the desert outside Cairo. A British expedition set off in hopes of finally finding Egypt's legendary lost queen. The expedition never returned. The explorers were lost, presumed dead. The grim tale of the lost team remained the only proof of the tomb's existence until now. I am at the Kingston University dig site just outside Cairo, where I will be working with a team to finally uncover the lost tomb. I am eager to learn all of the tomb's secrets or suffer the curse. Wish me luck, Nancy the Knitter. All right, well, let's look first at our little Nancy Drew Cairo themed stitch marker. I always do this and then I wanna take it out. Let me do that. Oh my goodness, she has a snake friend too. Absolutely beautiful. The level of detail Sam is able to get to with these things. I don't know if you can see it, but there's actual jewels in her headpiece. I don't know if the light will catch enough that you can see it there. But they're awesome, and I'm going to put them on my blanket for this month. All right, let's see. Maybe we can do them in order. Would you like to see it that way this time? Let me... Get a few of them and we'll go from there. All right, are you ready? Number one. Beautiful deep burnt orange kind of color. Number two is a gorgeous goldenrod yellow. Number three. Awesome green with a bit of black. Number four, oh, I love this one. Can you see all of like the pinks and oranges in with the black? <gasps> that might be my favorite so far this month. Five is a beautiful jewel toned purple. Six is a fantastic mustard. Love it. Ooh, this is a great one too. Seven. Lovely mauvey kind of purple. Eight. We've got a more greeny, like ochre kind of yellow. And last but not least, nine. We've got a perfect like pumpkin color. A bit more vibrant than number one. So let's go ahead and put these all together. It's gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to see them. There we go, that's a little easier to see. It's a great combo and I love how this is gonna pair with what I already have. So let me show you that. Um, first up, I will show you my October set of squares. I forget which one is the first. I think I'm gonna start marking which is the first square so then I know and I can try to 
lay them out together when I seam up the blanket. But that's October. And this is September. And the squares are a little more than 10 inches each. So if I do a three by four blanket, it'll be like 30 inches wide plus a border. So about 36, so that's pretty good for a baby blanket. I'll try to show you these together. It's a little hard with only two hands, but this is all gonna look really, really lovely together. So I can't wait to wind these up and get them started these little, um, the blanket that pattern that I'm using is Casapinka's Blanket of Calm, which is just a standard solid granny square pattern. Very easy to do. I really enjoy working it. I've got my bag right here. My beautiful Nancy Drew themed bag. And I forget, let me see my hook. I'm using a D hook, which is a 3.25 millimeter. So that's it, just nice and easy. And then I've got this beautiful gray from Cascade Heritage. Let me grab you the ball band for that because I think I keep forgetting to know what color it is. Five, seven, three, six. Because you know, that tells you a lot. Usually with Cascade, if you look it up online, it will tell you the actual colorway name and they just put the numbers on the ball band. So um, yeah, but this one should last me quite a bit longer before I need to go into the others. But I wanted to be able to have enough to put a very generous border on it. I'm still not sure what I will do until the end. After each month, I'm putting the leftovers of the minis, because I do still have quite a bit left over, into their own bags that are labeled. So I can show you what that looks like too. So these are my leftovers from the first two months. As you can see, you know, there's a, there's a quite a bit of yarn in here. Um, let me just show you. Like this is what's left over after doing a square. I probably could do at least one more square out of each. So I don't know if around the edge I'll do um, a, like a border of granny squares and then a border of gray, or if I'll just put some color in around the border and do the gray. I don't know, but I figure for now, I'm just gonna keep these all completely separate. I've got them in a little basket along with the gray cascade yarn. I've got November ready to go so that I can put the leftovers into this bag and everything can kind of live in here when it's at home and then I can use my bag, especially if I commute to work and I'm taking the train, I can put this month's stuff in there and have everything that I need. So and that is how I've been working this project so far. And you know, haven't obviously done my squares for month three yet, but I am still very much enjoying this. The ladies over at Woolen Women Fibers always come up with such creative, clever ideas for different things that really kind of keep you excited and engaged about your making. And that's what I really enjoy about them. So um, as I mentioned in the past two videos in this series, this kit is no longer available. They do have a holiday kit, which may or may not already be sold out, but if you haven't already checked out their website, definitely go ahead and give it a look. Um, their link and all their information will be down below. Thank you again to them for sending this to me. They are sending it to me for free and I'm very grateful, but I always like to disclose when I pay, th pay for things with my own money versus when they're very kindly gifted to me. So thanks again, ladies. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do it. Click the little bell if you wanna be notified when I put new videos out. Um, there's lots of fun stuff going on on the channel right now. And I will be participating in Vlogmas, which means I will take you and this camera along with me every day in the month of December. There's tons of fun holiday stuff already on my calendar and I would love it if you joined us. So um, yeah, until the next video, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.